Hello and welcome to Marketing91.com. By definition, monetary policy is the manipulation of money supply with the objective of affecting macroeconomic variables such as GDP, inflation, unemployment and exchange rates. Monetary policy is a regulatory policy by which the central bank controls the following money supply, availability of bank credit and cost of money or interest. Objectives of monetary policy are controlled expansion of money, employment generation, external stability, encouraging savings and investments, channelizing credit to desired sectors and reducing inequality. Instruments of monetary policy can be classified as follows general or quantitative credit control measures and selective or qualitative credit control measures. Let us understand general or quantitative control measures. These measures aim to control the aggregate supply of money and are also known as traditional measures. They include the following bank rate, repo and reverse repo rate, cash reserve ratio or CRR, open market operations or OMO, and statutory liquidity ratio or SLR. First is the bank rate. It is the rate at which the central bank lends money to commercial banks for their liquidity requirements. The central bank follows the bank rate policy to control economic fluctuations such as inflation and recession. During inflation, the central bank raises the bank rate to reduce credit creation capacity of commercial banks and decreases the bank rate during recession. Next is the repo and reverse repo rate. Repo rate is the rate at which the RBI charges short-term loans offered to commercial banks by purchasing securities back from them. Reverse repo rate is the rate at which commercial banks can buy securities or deposit their excess cash with the RBI. To increase liquidity in the system, the RBI buys back securities from banks at low repo rate. To reduce money supply, repo rate and reverse repo rate are raised. Next is the cash reserve ratio or CRR. It is the percentage of total deposits that commercial banks are required to maintain in the form of cash reserves with the central bank. CRR is raised when the central bank follows a contractionary credit policy during inflation by contrast, CRR is reduced during recession. As the CRR is raised, the bank's capacity to lend reduces through the process of credit multiplier. Credit multiplier C equals 1 divided by CRR, that is, total credit creation TCC equals C into deposits. The fourth measure is open market operations or OMO. This refers to the buying and selling of government securities in the open market to expand or contract the amount of money in the banking system. The central bank reduces the quantity of money in circulation by selling securities and increases by purchasing them. When the central bank carries out OMO, it affects the bank's deposits and reserves and ultimately their capacity to create credit. Last is the statutory liquidity ratio or SLR. SLR is the minimum proportion of net demand and time liabilities to be maintained by banks as liquid assets in the form of cash, gold and unencumbered approved government securities at the close of the day's business. Moving on to selective or qualitative control measures. The first is margin requirements. It is the proportion of the value of a security against which a loan is not given. The higher the margin, the smaller will be the size of the loan sanctioned. Discriminatory rates of interest. Different rates of interest are charged for different uses of credit. The RBI relies on this method to direct resources to the priority sector for export promotion and to prevent the speculative use of bank finance. Ceiling on credit. The central bank imposes upper limits on credit available to large-scale industries and developed sectors of the economy. The objective of the ceiling is to make credit available to deserving and credit-starved sectors. Next is direct action. Disciplinary action is taken by the central bank against banks that fail to follow its directives. They may be in the form of cancellation of licenses, refusal of re-discounting facility and imposition of penalty. Lastly, moral suasion. 
the RBI issues periodic letters to banks to exercise control over credit in general or advances against particular commodities. Periodic discussions are held between the RBI and authorities of commercial banks on this matter. Thank you.